I want to spend twenty dollars. I want the atmosphere to be lit as, fuck. and I want some regional classic. Go. Oh man. And so, what do you mean by lit as? Fuck? I mean. <laughs> Brown trading market. Hi, yes, uh, my name is Taylor, and I'm recording this from Thrillist. Thriller? Uh, Thrillist. For Thrillist. And I was wondering if um, and we're cold calling locals in Portland to get like local recommendations of places they like to eat and drink. I'm actually at one of those places to eat and buy gourmet food and wine and seafood. Fantastic. Can you talk about it a little bit more? Uh, can you hang on for one second? Of course. I'm on some sort of web series right now. It's about telling people where to go and eat. Can I talk about what we have? And... <laughs> Hi there, I'm back. Hey! Right now I'm standing in a place called Brown Trading Market. Uh, we have all sorts of gourmet goodies, 1,500 distinct labels of wine, the best fresh seafood in Portland. I have heard over and over again that Portlanders are known for the lobster, so what makes your place the best seafood spot? Well, we don't uh, we don't do lobster. Even tide, they do a different spin on a lobster roll. They're kind of smaller. They're on like a themed bun. You're not gonna find a bad lobster in Maine. A Tex-Mex style place called the Lingua. They smoke everything in house. The Holy Donut is a donut company that was born in Portland, Maine, and we make all of our donuts using mashed potatoes. Wait, what? Yeah. Repeat that literally pieces of potato. It's about a third of the dough. Northern Maine has kind of been a long tradition of putting potato in everything because there's so many potatoes. So another kind of Maine classic. And it just is like a little bit of a different texture. Okay. So if I'm more into like drinking beer, are there some good local breweries you would recommend? You, you didn't do any research on Portland, Maine, did you? There's like <laughs> six million breweries here. Do you um, have a favorite? <laughs> There's a couple that I enjoy. This little bar called Howie, like super chill local neighborhood dive bar. There's a really amazing vintage arcade bar in Portland called Arcadia. That's awesome. I like to sit at the bar at Little Giant, have some craft cocktails and, and uh, snack a bite to eat. Hole, they are located right down on the waterfront. They have one of the biggest decks in town. During the summer, it's absolutely crazy. Missile Brothers is the first craft beer brewery to go big. It's young and hip and uh, and... And, and my boss is uh, tapping her fingers at me. Okay. So I wanted to learn more about Leaping Lizards and how it plays a part in Portland's We're culture. We're a holistic gift shop. That's awesome. What do you guys sell? We sell jewelry, rock, books, CDs, candles, herbs, Hermits? sage, dream catchers. Wow. That's a, that's a huge... Incense of various types. Tarot deck, oracle deck, statuary, wind chimes, little tchotchkes, local stuff. Local water, local artists. So, like, how do you choose, like, what types of art? We use a pendulum to see whether or not it works out. Wait, a pendulum? A pendulum. Wait, so how does that work? I'm holding it over the product that this person wants to sell in this store. Oh. I say, will this item sell? If it says no, I push the item back to you and do not take it. And that, and are, what other, like, are there other ways to decide, like? No. I would suggest going to Fort William State Park. That's where Portland Head Light is, and that's the most photographed lighthouse in North America. Super cool. If it's like a nice day hitting the Eastern Prom and like sunbathe there. We use it like a beach, but it's not just kind of a grassy hill. Got it. It's a zoology museum. Very unique. It has some really cool like, taxidermy and oh. stuff like that. And Have you been there yourself? You know, every time I've tried to go, it's been closed. Oh, really? <laughs> so I have not. So stones and stuff, What what's up with that? Uh, we sell crystal, mineral, jewelry, things of that nature. Okay, so we're starting this new show and we need some good luck. Are there any crystals that um, could it kind of aid to premonition? Tell us if our show is going to do well. <laughs> well, it's, it's all about putting in the work too. And I think it seems like you're really passionate. So I feel like it will work out. Passion. That's not what we want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> we want an easy fix. No. So Portland seems really fun. I would definitely go on that foodie tour. That woman seemed really knowledgeable and nice, and it seemed like she really liked me personally. 
Um, she did recommend Holy Donut. They have donuts made out of mashed potato, so I'd like to see how they really mash it up. Nice. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Yeah. Actually, speaking of donuts, I think the Portland Head Lighthouse sounded really nice. It sounded beautiful. I want to take a photo there. A lot of people were mentioning breweries there, but one that kept coming up was the Bissell Brothers Brewery, and I would mm. definitely want to check that out. And seriously, leave your phone number in the comments. We will call you. That's true. Nobody's doing that. I mean, we maybe got two numbers so far. Yeah. Please do that. Send your picture as well, just so we know. What? Why? <laughs> I just that. What is the point of that? Is that wrong? I just... Yeah, sending a photo is weird. I like to see people. I don't know. Fans? Stop. 